Pentacles Beer Review is going to be tasting. Um, not sure what to expect with this one. This is Santa Claus Hellas. Um, so I went on a little beer adventure today, and I went to Beertopia on 36th and Farm, and they had their. I recently saw the review of by J. J. Terrio, Louisiana Beer Reviews, his review of Santa Claus Schwarzes, and uh, I saw this Santa, the Santa Claus Classic and the Santa Claus Schwarzes all on the shelf. Got them all, got them all ready to review. So I watched his review that he did a couple of years ago of this beer, and he, thought, he said it was pretty, pretty crazily um, strong. So this beer gets an, an 85 on Brea Advocate. The bros haven't tasted it, and it is a very strong 14% alcohol. This, the classic, and the Schwartz, Schwartz Assault, all three of them are 14, all 14% percent alcohol. Uh, this is a authentic German beer. Um, <clears throat> it's brewed by Schloss Eggenberg, Eggenberg or a Castle Brewery in uh, Austria, so it's not German, it's Austrian, um, which Austrian, in a way, is kind of German, because people in Austria speak German. Um, imported by Wetton Importers, or Wetton Importers, I'm not sure what, out of Wharton, Virginia, so let's go ahead and get into this. Nice looking label, nice looking everything, so, um, as you can see on the bottom, I paid four ninety nine for it, which is not cheap for this little, uh, 11.2 ounce bottle, but uh, let's see if this is worth it or not. If it's worth it to drink this or not. Yep, look at that smoke. That smoke. I'm all up at that smoke. No sediment down there. I'm already smelling like a sweet, bready thing in the air, just like cr cracking this open. A very fizzy, almost a soda-like head. The body is sporadic, sporadic bubbles, but a good amount, and it is clear, and it is a um, uh, amber golden kind of, kind of color. The head is kind of reduced to this little ring, or this little cap around the glass. Oh, it smells sweet, it smells bready, it smells strong. I can, I can even pick up like a tad bit of alcohol, just like on the nose at all. Hmm. It just smells so bready, so strong, so sweet. It just smells like... I like the way it smells, but I'm kind of scared because of what I've heard about this. So let's go ahead and try this. I never had it before. Um, Beertopia, if you're ever in Omaha, Nebraska, and you want to get some good craft beers, go to Beer go to Beertopia on 36th and Farnham. Why am I scared? Because I'm I'm feeling like a, a fear is almost is almost almost as if I'm drinking like a Camel black eyes or axe head. Whew. There's no burn. I'm going whew, from like this strength, the sweetness, like. Like the the fourteen percent doesn't come in at all. Like the alcohol, there's no alcohol burn. There might be, as this thing warms up, there might be some alcohol flavor, but we'll see. A tad bit of alcohol flavor coming through. There's still no burn. Very sweet, very bready. Um, Yeah, it's just like really sweet. It's just 
Like, it's not, like, too sweet. Um, but it's close. It's close to being too sweet for my palate. It's close to being too much. It's interesting, it's very strong, very strong and sweet. Hmm. Um, mouthfeel is easily heavy, or at least medium to heavy. It's very sticky, it's very um, thick. Chewy, um, not drinkable, not refreshing. Um, it, but I, for that's not what this company has not meant for the, the company hasn't Schloss Eggenberg has not meant for this beer to be a refreshing or drinkable beer. It's supposed to be a big sweet, sweet beer. You know, it's supposed to be like this. Head is pretty much gone. It's very pretty, you know, it's, there's still bubbles around, so I wouldn't call it flaccid. I hate that word, I'm sorry, but I, that's, flaccid is a word that I've used to, to, to describe some beers, but even though I hate that word, even though it does, I hate that word because that can refer to, you know, something else, but it, it can be used to refer to a beer that is really, is just like dead, like flat. But it doesn't taste flat. It doesn't taste dead. Hmm. I think it is very flavorful. It is delicious. I would not drink this um, more than once a year at least. If that, I mean, it's just a really strong, really big, um, and for anything that has the word Hellas, on it, I would not expect this. Like usually, when you see the word Helles, which means light in German, of course, when you, when you see when you see, see the word Helles on a beer, even authentic German beers are not like this. They're like really light, yellow, fizzy stuff, you know. Um, and this is not like that. So <sighs> I'm gonna give this an A. Well, I'm on the A minus to A fence, and I would. The only reason I would give it a A minus is because it is very sweet, very strong, and not something that I would really seek out because it's so just strong. <coughs> but I will go ahead and give it an A because it is very delicious, very flavorful, and I do like it. And I will finish this. I will therefore finish this very so very slowly, very slowly. Um, I am one that is prone to chucking beers, so I will have to remedy that practice in this case and with in the case of the other two Santa Claus beers that I have in the fridge so um the four the four ninety nine I paid for this I think is worth it so if you see this in a single I don't know I don't think that they I don't think they sell six packs do they I don't think I don't think so uh but if they do I think it, either way whatever your whatever configuration you see, you see this in definitely worth your money and your time and your palate